Wing Chun is a style that is not just about hand techniques. Of uh, Unfortunately, a lot of people think that Wing Chun is just a style that utilizes the upper body, uh, but actually this isn't true. In the Chum Kyu form, we have three basic kicks. Uh, when uh, one goes all the way up to wooden dummy and learns all the uh, kicking methods we have in Wing Chun, we actually have a total of eight kicking methods, but they're based on the three standard kicks that we have in the Chum Kyu form. Uh, the first uh, and, and most common kick we use in Wing Chun is the front thrust kick, but we also have a couple others. Uh, the front thrust kick is, is probably the most practical and most common and use kick in Wing Chun because it follows with the same idea that we have with our hand techniques which is to go down a straight line to be very direct and very effective rather than using uh, round lines to come in uh, for an attack. There's absolutely nothing more wrong with roundhouse kicks and spinning kicks. They're very, very powerful. It's just in Wing Chun because our main function is self-defense. We want something that's very quick, something that's not going to upset our balance and something that we don't need to stretch out or warm up before we uh, use it on our attacker. So uh, when we use the front thrust kick, we, we can either do it straight from the frontal stance, which is the kind of very traditional classical method, or we can do it from an advancing stance where our weight is on the back leg. Now, since we have all the weight on the back leg in our Wing Chun system, uh, when we lift up our leg, there's absolutely no shift going on up here. That's why when you're fighting, you can uh, launch a front thrust kick very quickly because you don't have to shift your weight first before you kick. So one of the basic exercises one should practice when you start the front thrust kick is actually to just practice lifting up your leg and keeping your upper body in the same place. Now in Wing Chun when we kick we use a different uh, body mechanic than you see in common front thrust kicks in other styles. Most styles when they do a front kick they lift up their knee and they keep their knee in the same place and they kick like this usually with the toe. Uh, the problem with this kind of kick, it, for Wing Chun at least, is that the direction of the power is actually going up because if I leave the knee in, in this spot here I'm actually kicking in this direction but my opponent is in front of me I want to kick them. So we use a slightly different function uh, or different knee uh, movement when we kick in Wing Chun. When we lift up our knee, all right, what we're actually going to do is drop the knee as we kick so that our kick is much more like a horizontal stomp as opposed to a snap. All right, so if somebody's in front of you, you can practice with a kick shield. Now real simple, uh, you can even just start in the uh, advancing stance like this and practice lifting up your knee. All right, you can start from this position here or you can start from here, it doesn't really matter. You lift your knee up and the idea is you want to kick with the heel as opposed to the toe. All right, so I'm going to lift my knee and then my knee is going to drop as I do the kick. All right, so this is a very important distinction in the way we kick compared to the other styles is that we don't want our force going up into, uh, into, the, into space. We want our kick going into the target forward. So the knee goes up and has to drop. This is a very unique uh, idea behind the way we do our front thrust kick in our style.